this is a let's play for uh, the Lone Ranger for the Nintendo Entertainment System. The Lone Ranger, he was one of my favorite guys when I was a kid. He was, uh, I mean, I, I love westerns. Everything from what we got going on today with Hell on Wheels. I think that's like one of the best shows out, you know, going right now. Season 2 just got done, so check out Hell on Wheels. But the Lone Ranger was a guy whose brother and his comrades for the Texas Rangers got killed by the Butch Cavendish band, uh, band, <laughs> gang, and uh, he goes out to seek vengeance, but the Cavendish gang thinks they killed him, so he wears a mask to hide his identity. So, but I love this, you know, I love the story so much, I mean, I bought the, you know, the comic books, the graphic novels, and the kind of retellings of the Lone Ranger story. Very cool. So, what we're going to do is we're going to, I'm going to show you a little bit of uh, the Lone Ranger for the Nintendo. It's not a bad game. It has a lot of uh, different perspectives. There's a, you can use your zapper for gun shooting parts, or you can use your controller and move a cursor around. It has a top-down view, kind of like The Legend of Zelda, uh, or better said, uh, Link's Adventure. Whatever that is. Uh, the Avengers of Link, whatever. God, I can't remember that game. The second Zelda, anyway, that can offer the Nintendo. It's got a down view. It has a side-scrolling view, which is, I swear to God, Konami just basically wiped the engine for Castlevania and made a cowboy guy. And that's in there. There's all sorts of different gameplay aspects. So it makes the game quite unique. So I'm going to show you a little bit of that. Thanks for watching. The Lone Ranger by Konami. I'm going to watch a little, I'm just going to put a little bit of this, uh, you know, the demo on here. Nice. Gatling gun. You can get a Gatling gun in this game. I didn't even know that. I've played this game forever since I was a kid and I rented it. But, uh, I want, I just want to show you a little bit of this beginning. It just kind of tells you a little bit about, uh, I don't know. It comes up and tells you about the Lone Ranger if you don't know who he is and what he is. But, um... See, it tells you a little bit here about his faithful Indian companion, Tonto. But I'm not going to read it to you. Um, you can read it. Uh, you know, it's it just, okay. It's not. And then again, the Konami, the classic Konami cinematics that were so popular in games in the 80s and 90s. I loved the cinematics that Konami threw in their games. And you can tell by this running scene here with, uh, with the Lone Ranger in this part here. And um, it even adds voice to that. He says, hi -o Silver! But, um, yeah, so let's start a game here. Um, you can choose between a zapper and a controller. The uh, controller is what I always use and always have used. The zapper, there's parts where it's kind of got a Hogan's Alley type shooting uh, perspective. This right here tells you about the history or what the Lone Ranger is. He's basically getting vengeance against the Cavendish gang, Butch Cavendish's gang, for killing his brother and his other comrades that were part of the Texas Rangers like himself. So, um, that's, uh, and, okay, but on this game, I guess Butch Cavendish kidnapped the president. And I figure it was the 1860s, so it'd be Abraham Lincoln. And he's a vampire hunter. I don't believe that Cavendish could take him. I think Abraham Lincoln would whoop his ass stab him in the fucking heart, and uh, it'd be over with. But anyway, you got, uh, this is what Tonto does. He gives you words of wisdom. A, he tells you to go on, and uh, you got to find your horse. See, it's in Tucson. Uh, this view is kind of like the uh, Legend of Zelda 2. It's got a top-down perspective. And then you go into towns, and it gives you this uh, top-down view um, where you can talk to women and uh, proposition them for a handy. Uh, she tells you you're in Tucson. They usually give you great information like this here. How are you today? Really? I wasted my time talking to you so you could ask me how I was doing. I need information. And you know what I'm doing. Okay? Like this. I know I have only have my fists, no gun, no bullets, and I need to get to a uh, the gun shop quite, qu quite quick. Oh, shit. There's a guy coming at me. I don't have a gun. He's punching at me. Fight him. Oh, no, don't. Knocked you out with my fist of fury, my manos des piedros, my fist of steel. 
Excuse me, mister. Yes, I want to buy something. I'm in your store. I need some standard bullets. Um, you're usually supposed to keep 20 rounds of each one, standard and silver bullets. Silver bullets are a little more expensive. That's because you have to kill the lichens and the werewolves that are roaming the plains. That's okay. Uh, we will kill them all one by one and worry about them later. Let's go to the doctor. You see the doctor up there? He sells you opium. Opium is great. It works really good for the Lone Ranger. He uh, nods off and, uh, you know, thinks he's a, uh, a pillowcase. So here we go. We're killing these guys, trying to get some money. Because uh, we need some money for bullets and what have you. Health, that kind of gimmick. Um, so, get them. All right. Kind of want to be first on the draw. Like that. You can kill these bastards. Go up there. Each guy usually has about 10 bucks on them. You can get $10 out of each guy. So, we're going to leave this place. And we're going to truck south. We're going to take a look to the west and see what's going down here. They are, there's these little guys. That, you know, little outlaw guys. That takes you to, you know, another top-down scene where you have to kill the guys to get through it to get past them. We're going to go here to this town, and, uh, what? I didn't mean to go out. That was an accident. Let's get back in there. So, then I'm getting, <laughs> I'm getting bum-rushed by these dudes. Um, come on, cowboys. I sh oh, shot you in the face. How you like that, cowboy, in the face? Watch out, lady. Watch out. Two, two times for that guy. I must have shot him in the hand and then in the gut. I'm in Dodge City. Well, those homeboys should have dodged my bullets, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> All right. Let's go check out the sheriff. The sheriff is the man in town. He usually can tell you what's going on. He's inept. He's an idiot. He has no abilities. He basically says, hey, would you go do my dirty work? Like this. Go take care of the outlaws. And, being the bitch that I guess I am, I go and do it. It is very fun to... Uh, Keep on traversing this Great Plains and killing and doing all the sheriff's dirty work. Okay, so I need some health. I can you, you always want to leave these towns with health. So let's go get some opium from the doctor. It will heal my wounds magically. Oh, 50. Shit. I only have $45 and it's 50. Hey, spot me five, brother. Spot me five. He's not going to spot me shit. So, I gotta go and look and see if there's any other bad guys that I can kill and maybe get a, a 10 spot. Then I can roll in there, get healed up. I'm not seeing any bad guys. Um, is there any over here by the sheriff? Take a quick look. Nope. Alright, one thing about this game is you can leave the town and the bad guys refresh. When they refresh, you know, that's what gives this adventure game kind of an RPG feel. A very loose, loose, loose RPG feel. But you go back in, bad guys are reset. You do no level crunching for upgrades or nothing like that. You, what you do is you m money crunch. You uh, you have to kill a lot of guys in order to get... Ah, oh, shit. Ah, oh, shit. I killed the lady, and then I got punched out. Motherfucker. Excuse my language. Anyway, Kimasabi. Uh, see, and, and then it starts you over. Okay. I am going to do this magic trick, and let's put in a password to get to the third level. Bang! So, this is uh, the third level. I have my horse, Silver. We are going to check out these ghost towns that, uh, you know, they were gold towns that were booming during the gold rush. Now, the gold's gone, and the towns have turned into ghost towns. You go into these towns, people are scared. I'll give you a little heads up, because um, I'm not going to play this game too much longer. Uh, come across this guy. They're gonna kick my ass. Uh, get get your gun out. You're not gonna punch all these guys, are you? Silver bullet takes guys out in one shot, and I just got shot in the face. Watch out! There's a dude coming up behind you. Look out! Don't! I see him. Get the shot him in the gut. Yes, I did. I'll shoot him in the butt. Oh, I shot you in the face too, brother. All right, so I'm gonna truck on down here with silver. Um, silver doesn't serve much of a purpose until later in the game, and if, and when I get a better password by progressing in this game, I will do another Let's Play, and we'll kind of explore that area. But the problem is, is that 
you die once, even on a password, it just starts you all over. And you have to go through the whole thing of setting the, you know, story triggers and talking to the sheriff and talking to the people and finding out they're scared. You know, it's it gets daunting. But it's a good game. It does have a lot of diversity, and I highly recommend it. Even though I got my...